Hey, this is Terry Toots with a quick tutorial on creating amazing nebula formations in Terrigen 4. Now, really the best place to start with nebula work in Terrigen is a file shared by Dennis Serenko on the Terrigen forums some years ago. So huge thanks to Dennis for sharing his techniques. Now this is a little bit of an older file. So the first thing we're going to want to do is come to the rendering tab. Edit sampling and make sure to change this from the legacy adaptive sampler to the robust adaptive sampler. And that's going to cut your render times in half right off the bat. Now, taking a closer look at the node network, this setup is surprisingly simple for the result it produces. So let's take a look at what's going on. First, you may be surprised to find that this isn't actually a far off picture of distant space. It's actually a top down view of a relatively small cloud layer taken with the main planet turned off and lit by several point lights. The normal cloud density fractal has been replaced with low octave Voronoi ridges giving very little detail in the main cloud formation. The color of the cloud is changed, and the lighting parameters tweaked to increase the light propagation through the cloud. Then, detail is gradually added through several layers of fractal warping, ending up with this very chaotic wispy effect. More colors are added to the nebula by adding additional cloud layers. In this case, there are three separate layers. The layers share the same large scale warping which makes the shape more cohesive, but the small scale warping is unique to each layer. Once you understand the concept, this effect is pretty easy to create yourself. Or even using this file as a starting point gives you a lot of opportunity for customization. Just change up the color of the clouds, randomize the power fractals, and move the lights around to get a variety of nice results. In my experience, it's best to add stars by compositing, since the high anti-aliasing levels required to get good stars in Terrigen greatly increase the rendering time for the nebula clouds. Here in Affinity Photo, I'm adding stars in two layers, one with a color dodge for stars in the nebula, and one with a light and blend for stars in the background. There's a lot you can do with this with some creativity and I've included a link in the description to a forum thread showing how to composite multiple nebula together with stars and other elements for some really fantastic effects. Have fun!